let's let's start from the beginning with lactose intolerance. About three fourths of the world's population lose much of the ability to digest lactose uh, after they're weaned, somewhere between the ages of three and five, probably. In the United States, it's only about a quarter of the population, but still, a quarter of 300 million people is, you know, 75 million people who have the potential for intolerance. Yogurt bacteria contain a high level of the lactase enzyme and this enzyme actually acts in the intestine to help digest the lactose. So eating yogurt is like taking a digestive enzyme supplement along with your milk, but it's a natural approach to doing that. And there are very well controlled double blinded clinical trials that show that lactose intolerant individuals can consume significant amounts of yogurt, in fact as much yogurt as they want and not have symptoms of intolerance. So it really works extremely well. In fact, I spent several years trying to make a super yogurt. Turned out all the yogurts were super yogurts. I couldn't make a better one because they all worked extremely well. There have been trials that have shown this enzyme is active in the intestine and that there's less lactose that leaves the intestine to the large intestine when you eat yogurt as compared to when you eat milk. So the data is very strong that yogurt is well tolerated and it's a great source of calcium for individuals who are looking for calcium in their diet and are lactose intolerant. Yogurts evolved naturally as a way to preserve dairy products. If you think about uh, the historical use of dairy foods and, and us using the, the milk of animals as human food, it has a very short life. It'll, it'll sour very quickly. The yogurt bacteria evolved to, uh, to allow it to be preserved for a longer period of time. And so it's really one of the early food preservation uh, methodologies. And it's a, it's a, it sort of was a natural uh, uh, evolution or natural experiment in food preservation. And it has some unique flavor characteristics. It has the, the tartness of the lactic acid when, when combined with the flavoring agents you get both the sweet and the tart. Um, whether we make it into a, a drug or not, or it becomes, has a, a medical benefit, I think is to be determined. Certainly there's potential there to do research in that arena. The requirement for three th servings a day is, is based on solid evidence. I doubt if that's going to change. I do think that in the United States we're going to see yogurt becoming a larger part of those three servings a day because it's so well tolerated and so easily stored, easily obtained. You can buy it in large quantities, you can buy it in small quantities, you can take it on the go with you. So it has some, some advantages in terms of convenience uh, as a dairy food. And you can make it low fat version. Many of the dairy foods out there are high fat, whereas you can make low fat yogurts, which are a real, a real advantage. So I would predict that we're gonna see Americans eating more yogurt in the future.